So question 2b, we're dividing these fractions. Now when you divide fractions, there's a first step that you do always. What's the first step when you divide fractions? Flip the fraction on the right and multiply, right? So we're going to multiply by this fraction upside down. t plus 5 over t squared minus 100. Right? So you flip the fraction on the right, multiply. So then we over here we have the same thing, t minus 10 over your t squared plus 3t minus 10. Okay. And now we've got a multiplying fractions problem. And the same thing as the last question, we just factorize everything, cross cancel common factors, and then we're done. So the trick is to, to factorize everything. Can you factorize t minus 10? No, that can't be factorized. Can you factorize t squared plus 3t minus 10? This one? Yep. So list the pairs of factors of 10. We got 1 times 10, or 2 times 5. Give me two numbers that multiply to negative 10, but add to positive 3. They must multiply to negative 10, and then they must add to, neg to positive 3. Okay? There are the two numbers you need to factorize that. So, I mean, <coughs> negative 5 and positive 2, will they work? They multiply to negative 10, but they add to negative 3, so they will not work. That's not right. Okay? How about positive 5 and negative 2? They multiply to negative 10, and when you add them, you get positive 3. So these are the two numbers you need. Not negative 5 and positive 2. Positive 5 and negative 2, right? So we get t plus 5 times t minus 2, okay? And then on the other fraction here, we've got t plus 5, and then we have t squared minus 100. How do you factorize t squared minus 100? Well, what does that look like to you? It looks like a difference, a subtraction, a difference of squared numbers, right? t squared minus 10 squared, right? And hopefully by now you've learned how to factorize the difference of squares. That's t plus 10 times t minus 10. I'll just check that just in case for you just, uh, you can check it just in case you have never seen that before. But if you multiply t plus 10 by t minus 10, okay, you get t times t t squared. t times negative 10 minus 10t, right? And then 10 times t is plus 10t, and 10 times negative 10 is negative 100. Add like terms, we have t squared, this is 0, minus 100, okay? So this is just checking to show that that is in fact the case, that t plus 10 times t minus 10 gives you t squared minus 100. So we factorized, and now we're going to cross cancel common factors. So let's cross cancel common factors. What what are the same types of things? Well, we got a t plus five that cross cancels with the t plus five down here, and it goes into it, it goes into it one time, right? T minus ten cross cancels with t minus ten here, goes into it one time. I like to put parentheses around this just to show that it's the exact same type of thing as this thing down here. Now t plus ten is different than t minus ten. Okay, they're not the same thing. Okay, so anyway, so when we multiply these fractions now, we actually have 1 times 1 at the top, which is 1 over t minus 2 times t plus 10. Okay, 1 over that. 